So, guys, the very first thing everybody is always hyped about is, is always the weapons. And, you know, before I asked anything, my personal opinion is that we already have too many weapons in the game. But still, I would be interested what you think about the new weapons. Yusuf, what do you think? About the new guns? For me, I think it's all unnecessary because the guns are like, the new guns are slow. The only gun I like, the new guns, the MP9K, because it's faster than MP5. So sometimes I can use it for like meta. But like everything else is just the same thing. I can just use a file or I can just use an H4 instead of the new guns. Okay, you mean the MP5K, right? Um, it's yeah, the MP5K, not MP9, my bad. But you don't even play SMGs, do you? Uh, I play SMGs, yeah, sometimes off stream, when I'm sometimes like trolling with some friends ah, okay so it's like more of a troll weapon for you okay yeah um and i saw some people trying to compare the new g3 with the 4 like like why is that i think it's not even getting close to the 4 yeah it's not even close i don't know the new g3 the fire rate is slow and the recoil is higher than foul the gun is yeah. like unnecessary in the game yeah, and I think it's not the first weapon which is unnecessary. And what about the SG-550? Uh, I think it's worse than Skarel. Why just choose the Skarel, I guess? Okay, so you're saying it's a cheap version or a you know, bad version of Skarel? Yeah. Oh, that's terribly bad to hear because I think the Skarel itself is bad. I tried the new gun and I didn't really like it because it sounds like the same as Skarel, but it's like a little bit slower. I'm not sure if it's slower but it sounds slower and it's 556 so the gun is bad because mm -hmm. of the ammo as well and how about the cpw i guess it's a low-end smg the cpw yeah because it's i think it's a faction gun i'm not sure but i think it's a faction gun so it's like a free gun but like p90 is better but the cpw is like for like more like timmy's gun or like trolling okay <laughs> how about yuruga do you feel the same or is any of the guns going to be your new favorite? I definitely uh, I agree with everything you have said there. Um, it is very redundant to add all of these extra guns, especially when it's on top of the the same ammunition that people have already kind of found their metaphor and they don't really need any extra. As a casual gamer, it's just more confusion, more things to calculate before you play a game. When you don't have a lot of time, you want to enjoy every minute of Arena Breakout and when there's so many choices to be made um it, it just takes a little bit longer and it just wastes i just ignore them at this point i don't even know if i play the guns that have been added in season five or i don't know maybe <laughs> not even see I, I mean i just keep seeing that new guns are being added but honestly like if you have to honestly answer when did you last play for example the t03 <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, I will say um, that, yeah, the, I used to be excited for new guns because sometimes they, they used to be uh, maybe a little overtuned when they were first released, but they, there was some excitement behind getting your hands on them. Um, I do use some of the guns sometimes. The faction money definitely um, adds a budget build element to everything, but they're not as exciting as they used to be. The new peaks, I like the new peaks because it's going to make the peaks faster but it's gonna low down the peak spam when usually people spam peak it's gonna be harder to do but like peaking faster quick peaks is gonna be better and it's gonna be like familiar to the season one peaks but like better mm -hmm. without lag or glitches it's similar like you can just like peak people and kill easier than spam peaking so you don't need to spam peak you can just peak right or left and mm -hmm. just kill and uh, what do you think about the situation where you're know, standing next to a window or something and because of the peak you basically don't mm. see anything? Oh yeah, the new peaks. Uh, I think the new peaks next update, they're going to make it better for the windows and stuff. Ruga, how about you? Um, yeah, uh, to be honest, uh, I played the beta before I had a chance to see any um, information about the peak. I didn't notice it when I first played. I was just running through it very quickly but i do like these kind of changes and improvements to the game because it's th these are the kind of things i want to see added to the game all the little extra elements of of how movement's affected in the game like you said it's going to make you have to to think a little more but that's what adds that um that feeling of achievement when you do pull off a really awesome play 
um, is is using these interesting elements of gameplay that not every other game really puts that extra bit of detail into. I think in real life, if I would lean just a tiny bit, I could still aim at the same height. And now it's like kind of lowering uh, by a lot. Does anybody feel that this is going to make a huge difference in the game? Or is it, is it just, uh, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, because uh, you can lift peak now without being too exposed as well in the next update. It's better than this one that we have right now. Because usually lift peaks are really bad, but the new update is a little bit better. I'm not playing Armory that often, let's put it like that. And I think Ruger, it's the same for you. But uh, Yusuf, how, how do you feel about the changes? Does it does it make sense? Is it now better? Is it worse? Or how, how do you feel about that? Yeah, the Armory new update, it makes a little bit more sense now, to be honest. And it's a little bit better because you have like more covers and peaks now in the mm -hmm. new update. Like especially outside armory. Right now outside armory is like too open. It's so easy to die if anybody's camping you or like camping in the middle of extraction. Mm -hmm. But the next update they a little bit and they add like more objects and stuff. So you can just like easily go closer and see if there's people or not. I think this update is pretty much related to what uh, breakout team started doing on other maps. So we had the TV station updates to avoid being um, Know, ratted um, while you're trying I mean yeah while you're trying to extract and uh, it feels like that they are doing the same on armory as well Ruga you are too silent I know you don't play armory <laughs> but I'm just you enjoying the conversation I do play armory actually I, I prefer it to TV station uh, it, it works uh, it runs more optimally on my phone uh, I just don't tend to go in without a good team so I, I don't play it that much in the grand scheme of things Okay, I think many viewers will love this or will relate to this comment, what you just said. Your phone <laughs> likes Armory more compared to TV station. Do you have any thoughts on the changes? Uh, not too much. I, I do appreciate the extra space outside because, you know, out, uh, outside of the Armory itself, it's terrifying being out there, especially if you're playing solo. Um, so having more areas to hide is is great to me um and same with the tv station just just the help with the extract is nice uh, i like having the main door left open too that that does promote much more dynamic gun battles you know something a little more entertaining than just fighting over one door who mm. can open it and close it the most and get a pick you know so i i do like those kind of changes that they're they're pushing better gameplay as far as i'm concerned but we're still going to have the, the sniper heal um, radio station, right? So that's still a place oh, yeah. where you can see basically everything. It's never going to fix everything, but it, it does give you just a little bit extra fight from, from those weaker positions, I feel, I feel like at least. It, it gives us Timmy's a little bit of hope. So Timmy's are going to like the change and Chad's, well, they don't care because they're going to hunt you down anyways, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> to my understanding, none of the new game modes are going to be permanent. I'm thinking of the Battle Royale and Solo mode and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, what are your, your feelings regarding these new modes? Mm -hmm. the, the new modes, to be honest, I don't really like it. Like the Battle Royale in an extraction shooter game. I don't like the idea of that. Like, I just want like new ma like Forbidden Zone and Farm or North Beach or Valley and new events like every two weeks or something and it's like it's the same as old events like the same we played but they just updated a little bit yeah okay um i'm absolutely with you so i'm just gonna openly say it out loud again i don't like the fact that we have so many game modes so many temporary game modes and we are drifting away from the original shooter looter extraction game um battle royale for me absolutely doesn't make sense because if i want to play battle royale then you know i'm gonna do something else like pubg or whatever why don't we have North Ridge Forbidden, Valley Forbidden, and uh, you know stuff like that? That would be way more interesting. And even if we're gonna have that, I think the loadout requirements need to change. I think for lockdown, the requirement would be at least 100,000 or 150. That's you can still run T4. Um, and for Forbidden, I think the cap, the, the minimum requirement, should be. 200,000 or 250,000 because it, what's happening right now is that 
Legend players and good players are dressing up into trash loadouts. They are entering Forbidden or Lockdown and they are trying to hunt those down who are willing to risk some, you know, some stuff. And I think I just don't like it. But anyways, we are drifting away from the modes. Uh, just on, on what you were saying there, I think uh, Grimity is a guy that brought up a great point uh, of that whole uh, balancing the modes thing. I think a simple solution for the lower end, mo uh, the lower modes uh, also would be to have a cap on how much you can bring in a minimum and a maximum so that you don't get the the thermal players running normal mode. It's going to promote them to play those higher higher end uh, uh, forbidden zone levels more than than uh, trying to farm. I don't know what they're trying to farm when they run T6 on normal mode, but you know, just different things to promote them getting out of it for sure. Uh, exactly. I think the only um, reason people do that is to remove the ops marker. But other than that, I don't uh, really yeah. see why you would want to do that. I want to add a point there because I agree with you with the idea. But like it, the leaderboard players right now, they all go like full thermal teams and they just go volley dog down and just kill like teamy players just to get like rank points, which is kind of really bad for the teamies. Because if I was like a like a bad player or decent player, if I go just I want to play like casual with a T4 and go volley or something, and there's like full thermal team is killing me every single match, that's gonna be really boring for the game as well. Yeah, I mean it leads to uh, you know to another discussion. Because because of the situation you just said, if you are a casual player, then easily you just you know quit the game because it's just boring to lose every single time. So I, I definitely feel that instead of new modes and battle royale and uh, basic cars on mine and solo mode and AI teams and all kind of new things, I think they should be focusing more on the uh, on the core elements to make that more balanced, to make that more polished and. I understand the struggle. Um, like it's really hard to satisfy both like the you know the hardcore audience and at the same time trying to make it casual at the same time. But um, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's counterintuitive to casual gameplay. I feel like because it takes a long time to learn a game like this and having all these different game modes for me. It again, it, it just like with the new weapons, it's just too much choice too much time you have to commit to learning something that is outside of the core element of the game uh, so it, it, you tend to either ignore them completely or just use them to your advantage uh, mine isolation grind rank points type of thing like i haven't played i've been playing like armory for like five seasons in a row and we this season we are getting farm forbidden zone that's like that's my favorite map to play forbidden zone because i played a lot in the chinese version farm forbidden zone I know I want to play it, but they just add the event for like a week and they just remove it for like two weeks and they just add it back again for like a couple days. Yeah. Why uh, can't we just get it in the game forever? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that was, you know, exactly what I was thinking. Like, you know, why? I, I don't understand the why they are doing things. Maybe, you know, with the new game modes, I assume that maybe they are like, you know, trying different things, but they are trying too many things at the same time. Guys, I'm going to ask you one more thing. So if, if there would be something you could change in the game, anything, what would that be? Uh, the servers and the magic time, yeah. I used to play like season one, like I used to play a lot in season one, armory, and I was getting instant match, like I was not even waiting like two seconds in lobby, getting instant match every single time. Now if I, if I want to go a match, I have to wait like at least 80 seconds, a, a minute or two minutes at least. Okay, so you and why why did did it change in your opinion? Is it that we had way more players in season one, or is it because they reduced the number of servers, or what's the reason for for what you just said? Yeah, I think they. I'm not sure, but I think they added more servers, EU servers, and it's gonna be like we don't have enough play, enough players already, so they just add I think more servers, so the players are separated from different servers, so the servers are like kind of dead now, and there's a lot of game events and modes so there's, there's like not enough players playing one specific mode like armory forbidden zone or like any map it's just gonna take a lot of time to find a match now Kruger, i'm gonna ask you as well what you would change if you had a chance to change anything 
for me, I've I've always been about optimization. I don't have the the best phone, but it is it is good enough. It, it runs well, but um, I want I want it optimized so that I can have that that higher definition graphics or the the better frame rate. Even like my phone struggles at even sixty frames per second. Um, so optimization is always big. But as far as actual game changes, I've always wanted to see more dynamic interaction with doorways, being able to you know. Put a shotgun to a locked door or to a closed door maybe but you know it, i know it would change a lot of different uh elements of the game um and also a drag feature i'd want to be i want to be able to drag my teammates to safety mm -hmm. that's always been something i've wanted to see the supportive rugaboo wants to drag the, the injured guys into <laughs> safety yeah when you're playing any of the maps you still get aces and masters right yeah when i play solo i only get teammates like I don't get any master. I mean, I don't get any ace or legends. Poor Ruga, yeah. you 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 Sif just said it's your team. <laughs> no, no, like some people just don't play a lot. No offense taken. So they don't get time. <laughs> no, some people just don't play a lot, so they don't have enough time to rank up. And some exactly. people don't even care about the rank. Yeah, it's actually hard to to grind the the legend. Uh, at least for me, especially if you're solo, I think it's not that easy. Yeah, have you seen the? Remember the season one rank system? It used to be much harder. Yeah, it was much better, for, to be honest, because it was like really hard to get legend. That was like a, like a big achievement to get legend. Now it feels like so easy if you play like the new events and the mods. Yeah, there's so much incentive as a casual player to hit ace, and it's it's not difficult to do. You just have to find some time to play and always play play ranked matches. But I, I as a casual gamer, I feel like when I hit ace, there's very little incentive for me to push further on to hit legend so i can't imagine what that is for a professional player where it doesn't even feel that important to me what must have feel like yeah. for you guys i mean i don't feel like getting i i didn't even know i got legend like i didn't even check it to be honest <laughs> it just happens <laughs> I mean, yeah it just happens because it's not really important anymore in season one it used to be much harder because sometimes i was getting like six kills and i was losing the match and I was still losing rank points in season one, but now if you even if you get like one kill or two kills, you just lose and you don't. It's it's yeah. very easy to hit legend. I feel like this is the the most casual season so far for that, where you could you can play horrible in mine isolation. Trust me, I sometimes I I play on my work break, so it's just push 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 and play terrible, and I'll end up getting you know 70, 80 rank points for a terrible match, and I die anyways. But you know, there's no incentive for me to play the game properly. And I could just keep doing that until I hit Ace One, and then play a couple matches to hit Legend. It doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem fair to the the higher end players. I always play minimum T4, and I love to use good ammo. Um, so I often call myself one of Arena, uh, one of Kimono's biggest charity cases. I, I'm donating every day. Anytime I die, I'm giving away lots of good stuff. But uh, I find it's uh, a much more enjoyable way to play the game. Uh, so what I, I average around, I hover around 10 million at all times, but I don't hesitate to buy whatever I need. Um, I like to play with flashlights and all that fun stuff. Um, and I just find that a balance of playing smart, playing with friends, playing lockdown and uh, and playing the market. Either way, I'm using tier four to like budget just for the bots or tier six. There's no point for tier five because everyone's using tier five ammo in the game now. I find yeah, ammo so is don't. what I would, as a casual gamer, it's what you spend your money on because it gives you the best fighting chance out there. If you only have a couple matches to play, why not dump a hundred grand into ammo, save the armor and, and shred a player and take theirs. But I think it's kind of unbalanced right now because ammo is really expensive. Because when I used to like bring any tier 5 ammo before, like in season 1 or season 2, it cost me like around 120, 120k or 150k for the full match. Now it's gonna cost you like at least 200k or 300k if I bring like M61s or like M62s. Okay guys, let's end the session. Is there for you happy streaming once you get there? Ruga. Thank you. Enjoy your afternoon. I think I'm just gonna go to bed and end the day. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. It's nice to meet you. Have a good night. <laughs> you too. Thank you guys. Bye.